It's time for a mailbag. We've got a parcel from PCB Way. Let's see what we've got. It's my ever so tiny ESP32 breakout boards. I'll do some close-ups of these later. Let's try plugging one in and see what happens. Now there's currently no ESP32 on these, so I'm not sure what will happen, but we do see a little LED. So what will happen? On the top of these, we'll have a ESP32 plugged in. So I've had some of these delivered. So I have a bunch of ESP32s. So what I'm gonna try and do is remake one of these tiny TVs. So this is a tiny TV and it's pretty cool. So I thought it'd be quite fun to try and make our own version of this. So I've made up this very simple ESP32 board. We'll solder an ESP32 onto the top here. So one of these modules will stick on the top there. And um, I've also got some little speakers. So I've got these tiny speakers that we can um, solder on. There's two pads here for a speaker. And I've got these very nice little displays. So these have come as well. So our TV will be slightly bigger than theirs, but it should still be pretty nice. So I'll do some close-up shots of, uh, of this board later um, for the end of the video, and we can have a look. Everything seems, seems okay. Nothing is getting warm, so that's quite promising. So also from PCB Way, we should have some nice adapter boards for these. So I'll be able to solder one of my breakout boards onto this and plug it into some breadboard. So this should slot on like that. And then we'll have a nice um, breakout board for testing these in a slightly easier way. So that should be good fun as well. So I've also ordered an Arduino Nano ESP32. So this is an S3 based um, device. So this should be quite interesting to play with. It's interesting it's actually using a different kind of module from the ones we're used to. Um, obviously it's quite a tiny module. So this should be quite interesting. I'll be interested to see how this stacks up against things like the Tiny Pico from Unexpected Maker, which we use a lot in our projects. So stay tuned for a detailed video on the Arduino Nano ESP32. I've also received one of these Miniware electronic loads. So I've been using this electronic load for quite a while, uh, but I thought it'd be nice to invest in something slightly more sophisticated. So this will be very useful for future projects. Let's um, open it up and have a quick look. I do like the uh, Miniware products. They always look pretty amazing. So let's get this out of the box. So that's kind of neat. So very nice compact little um, electronic load. Now someone recently gave me an ATX power supply. So I ordered a um, ATX power adapter. I guess you can never have too many USB ports. That's gonna be quite handy. Um, I've got this older one, but uh, this one looks slightly better. I've also been playing with building my own power bank. So I've got this nice board here that um, we'll try out. So we'll use the electronic load to test these out in a future project. So I've also ordered a couple of the cheap yellow displays that Brian Locke's been talking about a lot. Um, these are pretty cool. So we can power one of these up. We come with a small demo. Um, so we can try this out. It works, it works surprisingly well, and they are very, very cheap, hence the name Cheap Yellow Display. Um, now I've flashed one, this one with um, an emulator called Gallagher. So let's try that out. Should, should boot up. So we've got Pac-Man, Gallagher, Donkey Kong. And I think if I push some of these buttons, 
game should start up. So there we go, Gallagher running. So to go with this, we've got some, some wee nunchucks. And I also ordered a little breakout board to make these slightly easier to, um, to play with. So that should be a fun project for the future. We'll do a, do a video on the uh, cheap yellow display soon. And that would be pretty cool. Now the other thing I've ordered is this RGB bead curtain. So this is pretty interesting. I saw this on Becky Stern's channel. She was doing a DIY version and then realized that there was actually a version on AliExpress that you could buy. So this is a bead curtain with RGB addressable LEDs. So that's quite cool. Um, let me find a plug and we can try this out. Oh, got some flashing lights. And we've got a remote control. So we'll do a teardown of this and we'll see just how hackable it actually is and what we can do with it. So that should be a fun project. We do like an LED project on this channel. Now, another thing I've been playing with recently is a Raspberry Pi Zero with a display. And uh, I've been turning this into a, into a Doom playing machine. So let's power this up. So I'll currently boot into X Windows. And I thought it'd be good to add some sound. So I've got a couple of uh, little speakers here. And we need some control as well. So I bought a little um, games controller. And we'll do some wiring up to plug this into the Raspberry Pi, which should be booting. There we go. And it should run Chocolate Doom. Go to games, Chocolate Doom. So obviously we need sound. So we've got some speakers and we need some way of controlling it. So we've got a little um, controller here. Try plugging it all together and seeing if it works. And then the last things I want to play with for another project is building a little air quality meter. So this little box here is an air particle measuring thing. So this will detect um, particles in the air. This is a CO2 um, level meter. And this is an air quality meter. I think it's humidity, temperature, and um, other stuff. So that will be another fun project to try out. It looks like I've got a lot of fun projects to try in the future, so watch out for the videos coming soon.